Hi, my name is Matt Harrison, and I'm going to be joining you for the next little bit to talk about Python, Jupyter, NumPy, and Matplotlib. These are great things to have under your belt if you're getting started with computer vision or machine learning or data science. Hope you enjoy the course. Let's get started. Quick bit about me. I run a company called Metasnake that does corporate training and consulting in Python and data science. If you want to follow me, you can reach out to me. I'm on Twitter at Dunder M. Harrison underscore underscore M. Harrison underscore underscore. What are we going to talk about in this course? We're going to talk about why Python is important. We'll give an overview of Jupyter, then we'll introduce Python. We'll talk about NumPy and Matplotlib. So why are people using Python these days? Python is super popular. And I think one of the main reasons people use Python is that it's really easy to pick up. You can go to Stack Overflow and you can copy scripts there and paste them in and they work. Another reason why it's popular is because the code is easy to read. If you were to take pseudocode from Wikipedia or other locations, it's basically a one-to-one -one mapping of pseudocode to Python. It makes it really easy to understand your code and easy to work with. One more thing that I think gives Python its popularity is that there are over 300,000 packages on the Python package index. So you're literally standing on the shoulders of giants. You can create powerful applications relatively easily. We'll be demoing some of the libraries in this course. Python's also taught at many schools these days and is popular from that end as well. Now you might want to think about what Python is used for. Python is very popular for cloud usage. So if you've got a cloud environment and you want to control that, people are using Python to do that. Python is also popular for embedding logic into a program. These days, people are replacing a lot of proprietary languages with Python. Another place where Python looks to be up and coming is with small microcontrollers. For example, I have this little Hi5 device over here. It's a little hardware device meant for teaching kids how to start to learn coding. That's controlled with Python, but there are a bunch of small devices that you can go buy and you can create your own hardware and control it using Python, which makes it really cool and really easy. Another place where Python is popular is web development. These days that might be called application development, but writing server-side logic to control how to interact with a website. And finally, for the purposes of this course, we'll just say data science in general. Python is probably the number one language used there, and that's probably what most of the people in this course are interested in, manipulating numbers with Python. 